Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about reverse racism. So I'm going to keep this a little bit of a short video. I don't want to make this too, too long. Um, and I just want to keep it sort of simple because we're just going to just sort of essentially talk about what reverse racism is and how it's viewed as in today and what I personally believe that it should be viewed as. So to start off with, obviously, uh, we'll talk a little bit about what reverse racism is. So as of like currently, reverse racism is sort of viewed as a way to say that you're being racist towards a white person, you know? Um, which, in my personal opinion, is a very harmful thing to say because that clarifies the idea that you can't actually be racist towards white people. And that's one of the bigger problems. And in my opinion, if we just take the concept of what the term or what the word racist means, we can see that that word even covers white people. Because when we look at the word racist, we look at it and it says specifically on there that it is a treatment towards another individual, uh, probably a negative treatment of some kind, usually um, harm, harmful, you know, you don't like look at them very positively, so on and so forth, a very negative outlook on an individual or treatment and a very negative treatment of an individual because of their race it has nothing to do with who they are it has nothing to do with what they've done it just has everything to do with the color of their skin which includes white people because despite the fact that everybody thinks that black and white are a color they're not i might add it's their tints and hues <laughs> sorry their tints and shades but the point is that technically Technically, we're both colors. We're both colors. We're both the same. We, are, we both have a different skin color, regardless of the fact that one's black and one's white. One might very well be, they're both very well be colors. And guess what? If you treat someone differently, or you, especially negatively because of the fact that they have a particular skin color, regardless of whether it be white or black, guess what? You're a racist. And guess what? It doesn't matter what skin you are doesn't matter what you are. If you don't like another person because of their skin, you're a racist. If you don't like them because they're Asian, if you don't like them because they're white, you don't like them because they're black, you don't like them because they're Latino, I don't care. I don't, whatever reason you don't like them, if you don't like them because of something that has to do with their race, then guess the hell what? You're a fucking racist. And it doesn't matter. There's no reverse racism in that. There's no, no reverse. You can't reverse the racism on a white person just because he's white. That's not how that works. And with that being said, though, I do think that the term reverse racism is an actual term that can be used in today's society. In fact, actually, I believe that the majority of the white individuals who are out there today who are assisting Black Lives Matter, who are being allies and other things like that towards... Uh, individuals who are black and such, I believe that they actually practice what the real term of reverse racism means. Um, specifically what that means is, is like if we take the idea of what racism is, racism is basically a negative treatment of an individual because of their race. I would think reverse of that would be a positive treatment of somebody because of their race. So in my opinion, what that means, at least that's what, what comes to my mind when I look at that, is I see... Us as individuals, especially the white individuals who are helping out, treating another individual more preferential, you know, giving them preferential treatment because of the fact that they're a race. So even in today's society, our own practice of affirmative action is what I would consider a form of reverse racism. We are giving a race a preferred advantage over another race or another group of people because of their race we give them a preferential treatment so in my personal opinion that is in and of itself a form of racism and i think that it is actually a form of racism because it's not a quality it is not showing that an individual just because of the fact that they have black skin or because they have yellow skin or because they have brown skin, whatever the hell, or because they're white or whatever, because of the fact that they don't have 
a particular skin or because they have a particular skin they're being treated better and in my opinion that's not that's not just it's not even just fair to like us it's not unfair it's unfair to them they're being treated better they're not given the same equal chances like the same opportunities as everybody else they're they're giving more and that's unfair to everyone else that's given that's unfair to even to them because then they don't have to perform as well they don't have to they can be kept down they can be kept dumb they can be kept you know, un unfairly taken care of because of the fact that they have that special treatment. One of the reasons why the actual term reverse racism, I think we should be taking back. I think we should take the term reverse racism back and call every single person, every single white person out there who treats another person who's of any race better than another white person or treats them better because of the fact that they are of a particular race, we should call them reverse racists. I think that's what we should do. I think we should straight up start calling them be that because of the fact that they are in fact treating another group of individuals in a racist way. They're just doing it in, 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 a, in a positive way. Because they don't think that they can manage on their own. They don't think that they can just do these things. They can take care of themselves. They don't think that they can perform and find their success on their own no they have to be supported by the white people they have to be supported by another group of people i believe that blacks whites hispanics everybody are equal i think everybody has the same opportunities should have the same opportunities i think everybody should be capable of doing everything anyone else can do I don't think there's anything stopping anyone except for those people out there who are actually stopping it from happening. Because the more preferential treatment you give somebody, the less likely they're going to try to actually perform and do it themselves. But anyways, I do, like I said, I wanted to keep this video kind of short. So certainly hope you guys liked it. If you did, you guys know the drill by now. Go and hit that like button if you liked it. If you loved it, and you go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, as always, guys... Good luck out there, and don't forget to have fun.